Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona. Welcome back if you're joining me again. Today's class is an express 20 minute vinyasa flow class for all levels. And it's a great class to unravel and stretch your whole body in a short amount of time. It's uh, ideal for the morning, but really any time you need a quick refresh. You won't need any props for the practice. And if you are enjoying the classes and you'd like to support me creating each week, I'm on Patreon. All the details are in the description below. Enjoy your practice. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. And begin your practice laying down on your back and make your way into a posture that is both comfortable and easeful for you. You may wish to open your knees wide in reclined butterfly, soles of the feet together, or you can knock your knees together, feet to the floor. Resting your hands on your body, and as you're ready, gently closing your eyes or take a soft gaze down the tip of your nose. Start to settle in and relax for the next minute here. Cutting any energetic ties with what you were just doing and really becoming present, arriving in your body and feeling how your body is today. Using the next 20 minutes of practice to be of service to yourself, to open and brighten. Begin to feel the movement of your breath, sensing its gentle expansion and contraction, holding your breath in your relaxed awareness. And gradually deepening your breath's rhythm. Establishing an even cadence, breathing an equal amount of inhale, an even equal amount of exhale. Take two more cycles of breath. And gently sliding your eyes open, gather your knees in toward your chest and draw some circles through your low back. Take it back in the other direction. And then place your feet to the floor as wide as your hips. Bring your arms alongside your body for a dynamic bridge flow. On your inhale, raise just your right arm overhead, lift your hips, send your gaze to the left. And on your exhale, lower your arm, your buttocks, and turn your gaze back to the ceiling. Inhale, left arm overhead, raise your hips, looking to your right. And exhale, release. Both arms overhead now, inhale, lift your hips and pause in your bridge. You can bring a little bend to the elbows, letting your breath open into your chest. And exhale, lower down. Once more, bring your knees in toward your chest, circle th through your low back. And moving into happy baby pose, hands to your outer feet or the back of your knees, drawing your knees down toward your armpits. And pushing your feet into your hands, resisting with your hands, feeling some warmth start to grow a little in your hip flexors. And then relax that effort, hold your feet still, just become soft. And if it's comfortable, take a mild rock side to side.
And from here we'll make our way onto all fours. You may wish to take a few rock and rolls through the length of your spine if that feels good. Or simply ease your way out to one side. We'll all meet up in tabletop and flow through some spinal waves. See that your palms and your fingers are spread broadly. And set your knees under your hips. Start to arch and round your spine now to the pace of your slowest breath. Tuning in as you flow. Perhaps sensing any patterns of tension you're holding. Places of ease in your body. Taking in all your body's feedback. And meet me back in a neutral spine. From here we'll step out to plank pose, top of your push up, engaging your thighs, gathering your abdominals in, arms strong like pose, lengthening the crown of your head forward. On your exhale now, downward facing dog, raise your hips up and back. Take a few breaths here to move freely in your body. Feeling now the whole back seam of your body lengthening. And if you sense any rounding through your back or a tightness through your hamstrings, take a softer, more accommodating approach. You can bend both knees. You can let your heels lift. Give yourself permission to shift and adapt. Finding stillness in your down dog now. Feel your next breath in, your next breath out. Then take your gaze forward, soften your knees and travel lightly to the top of your mat. Place your feet hips width apart. As you arrive, hands to your shins, lengthen your chest forward, look forward and exhale forward fold over your legs. Rise to stand with a new breath, sweep your arms overhead and lower your hands to prayer at your heart centre. Next inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, motion your hips down and back, arms by your ears. And on your exhale, take chair twist to your right, hook your left elbow to your outer right knee, pausing here. Easing your weight back toward your heels and really merging your palms into one another to lift and open your chest, revolving to your right. On your inhale, come back through st centre, stand, straighten your legs and then twist to your left. Tee out your arms, send your left arm back, your right arm forward. Then take your left hand to the small of your back, gaze forward. Reach up and back with your right arm, finding a mild arch and a lift to your spine. And then sweep your right hand behind your back, interlace your fingers, staying upright. Breathing in, curl your heart up. Breathing out, bend your knees and forward fold over your legs. Ease your fists away from your back in your own comfortable range. On your inhale, release, hands to shins, take a halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back for low lunge, tap your right knee to the floor. Raise your arms over here and steady your shape, grounding your left heel, your right shin, and you're lightly pressing your right buttocks forward. Lower and interlace your fingers now behind the back of your head. Then point your elbows forward and trace a line from your front wall to the ceiling with your elbow tips, letting your head rest heavy into the hammock of your hands, opening your heart space, and you can explore sitting a little deeper into the hips. On your inhale, lift your two arms overhead, neutralize your spine, and on your exhale, modified warrior two. 
Pivot your right foot behind, face the long edge of your man, arms wide, and then interlace your fingers behind your back, lengthen your knuckles down, curl your chest up, inhale here. On your exhale, humble warrior variation, turn your torso to the left and fold toward the inside of your left thigh. You can press your left shoulder gently against your left knee, encouraging your thigh to track to your left, relaxing all sides of your neck. Take one more breath in, and then lower your hands to the earth, and walk your hands up and over to the right upper corner of your space, walking away from your left foot, Creating more space for your left hip. And then walk your hands to your right under your shoulders, face the long edge of your mat, and step your left knee in to greet your right. On an inhale, rise up to kneel high over your knees, raise your arms, and then lower your hands behind your head. Elbows are wide now. Softly roll your right shoulder back, and then your left. And go side to side, dancing your ribs over your hips, moving through your torso. Next inhale, reach your palms to the sky. And then place your hands to the floor. Tuck your toes under and step your feet wide for Prasarita Padottanasana, wide-legged fold. Angle your heels out. Take a breath in to lengthen your chest forward. Exhale and fold between your legs. Just conscious of your own edge in the shape. Refining your forward fold without tensing or pushing here. Just gently widening the inner arches of your feet away from one another. Firming your thighs and letting your spine spill forward and down. On your inhale, lengthen your chest forward, halfway lift. Exhale, turn and face the back of your mat and step back to plank. Strong and steady there, energize the legs, your arms, gaze forward. And then exhale, lower to your belly for locust pose. And we'll flow in and out with our breath. Bring your arms alongside your body. As you feel yourself breathe in, lift chest, thighs, arms, and then exhale, melt toward the floor. Again, inhale, lift, and lower. Last one here, lift and hold. Arms wide or interlace your fingers behind your back and draw the inner seams of your legs toward one another. Take one more breath in, lifting, and release. Pressing back to a child's pose, send your knees wide, big toes to touch, so your chest can rest between your thighs. Let your low back spine breathe and release. Finding some length and freedom through your spine, sideways through the reach of your arms. Lifting up just a little ways from here, walk your hands up and over to your right. Lengthening into the left side of your body with a broad breath. And then come back through centre and walk your hands over to your left. Make your way back to centre, tuck your toes and return to your downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. And a complete breath out. Looking forward and stepping up to the top of your mat. Facing the back of your mat there. Open and fold with your breath. Inhale, rise tall to stand. And lower your hands to prayer at your heart. Second side, we'll circle back. Next, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Raise your arms, press your palms, exhale and chair twist to your left, three breaths.
On your inhale, come back through center, straighten your legs, stand tall, and then twist to your right. Tee out your arm, send your right arm back, left arm forward. Take your right hand to the small of your back, gaze forward, reach your left arm up and back, and then sweep your left hand behind your back, interlace your fingers. Breathing in, lift your chest. Breathing out, bend your knees and forward fold over your legs. On your inhale, release, hands to shins, Ardha Uttanasana. And then step your left foot back for low lunge, tap your left knee to the floor. Raise your arms over here. And stay for an exhale, grounding your lower body. Interlace your fingers behind the back of your head, pointing the elbows forward. Then trace a line from your front wall to the ceiling with your elbows, supporting your head, finding a mild back bend, perhaps lunging a little deeper into your hips. On your inhale, raise your arms overhead. On your exhale, modified warrior two, pivot your left foot behind you, place face the long edge of your mat, reach your arms wide, interlace your hands behind your back, and then lengthen your knuckles down, curl your chest up. On your exhale, humble warrior variation, turn your torso to the right, fold toward the inside of your right thigh. If it's available, you can press your right shoulder a little against your inner right knee to open into your hip. Take one more breath in. And then release your hands to the floor. Walk your hands up and over to your left. Bowing in. Breathing smooth. Then walk your hands to your left, under your shoulders, face the long edge of your mat, step your right knee in, and on an inhale, rise up to kneel high over your knees, raise your arms, and then lower your hands, interlace behind your head. This time elbows are wide, softly roll your left shoulder back, and then your right and go side to side, dancing your ribs. Next, inhale, reach your palms to the sky. And exhale, lower your hands to the floor. Tuck your toes under and step your feet wide. This time, heels in a little, toes turn out. Take a side lunge to your left. Bend into your left knee, straighten your right leg. And then side lunge to your right. Straighten your left leg. Turn and face the top of your space and step back to plank on your inhale. Gaze is forward. Exhale lower to your belly. For a rolling cobra now, set your fingertips off the side edges of your mat. On your inhale, ease your chest forward and up. Exhale lower down. Two more with your breath. And then pressing back to your child's pose, buttocks to your heels. Take three calm, centering breaths. And then easing way up. Coming upright, let your hips spill out to one side and make your way down onto your back. Transitioning into reclined pigeon pose. Just as you're ready, lift and place your right ankle to your left knee. Flex your right foot. And interweave your fingers behind your right knee. Draw your right thigh in toward you, any amount. Just finding a breathable space in your shape. Connecting to the feeling tone, location of your stretch the quality of your breath. Now keep the figure four shape with your legs. 
lower your left foot to the ground and then guide the sole of your right foot to the floor to your left. Heel toe your left foot over to the right side of your space. And then take your left palm on your right thigh and shift your right thigh away from you. So you create a little bit more space and release for your hip flexors. And if it's available, you can reach down and connect your right hand with your left foot. Lengthening into your quadriceps there. Gently now, release and unravel. Come back onto your back, align your spine, smooth your back and we'll switch over to the left side. Recline pigeon, left ankle now to your right knee, your foot flexed, hands behind your right thigh. You're just making space to soften in your shape as you pause. Scanning your whole body with your mind's eye to loosen any resistance with the soft release of every exhale. And then lower your right foot to the ground, keep your figure four legs and slowly now lower and land the sole of your left foot to the floor to your right. And then heel toe your right foot over to your left. Right palm sits on your inner left thigh to encourage your left thigh away. You can stay here or final option, reach down for your right foot with your left hand, lengthening into the front of your right thigh. And just slowly breathing in, slowly breathing out, letting go of any gripping Take one more full cycle of breath and release. Rolling onto your back, transitioning into a brief shavasana. Extending your legs out long, your arms wide, palms skyward. If you have any more time for shavasana, please pause the class. Rest in peace. Just taking a brief opportunity here at the end of your practice to find calm, allowing the stillness to find you, consciously fading your body's weight into the support beneath you. And sigh a big breath out of your whole body, letting go of all your effort. Imagine your breath now flowing in through the front of your heart space and out through the back of your heart, washing through your chest and softening you. I'll be back to guide you back shortly. And gently, softly drift your awareness back, becoming aware of the space around you, the sounds that surround you. Breathe a full body breath, inviting yourself awake with your breath. Wriggle and stretch. And bend your knees, feet to the floor, rolling out to your right side. Just pause for a moment, let your eyes flutter open, adjust to the light in your room. And then gently press your way back up to see it. Thanks so much for joining me for your practice today. 
I hope this compact flow managed to transform how you're feeling in a good way and the rest of your day is sweet. Namaste.